Hey guys, how are you? Back again on the CL. All muscle. Show you some of the progress here. This thing has a uh, no shortage of lines and wires in the front end. I'll tell you that. And this uh, this stuff is really tricky. Uh, we had to pretty much put all these lines in. And right now, as you can see, we have the whole front end. Let's see. There we go. We have the whole front end completely tore down. <clears throat> One of the things you'll see already, uh, we've already put the wheels. These are the correct wheels for the car. AMG stock. Five spoke, split spoke wheels. Uh, we had to go in here and, and uh, install the hydraulic uh, uh, struts that were in the rear. And then somebody had already cut out this uh, foam insulation. So we had to take this deck off and put it in here and install it properly. So we had a foam insulator here that was off the other unit and it had not been touched or altered in any way. So we went ahead and used that. And then uh, the engine here or the, the little electric motor uh, was frozen on this uh, rear sunshade and we had a we had a tinker with that and uh, anyways we got that to work so the sun sh sunshade is operable uh, we've got the struts installed in the rear uh, we've got the struts installed in the front and then we also have uh, the reservoirs uh, the pump we have the pump this uh, this pump right here was no pancake to put in here I'll tell you that there was a a couple bolts on the rear end of the pump that you just barely could get to and they only turned like increments at a time, very small increments. So those those were not any fun. A lot of the stuff that was in here, it was just basically a matter of, of finding the the road, you know, the routing of the, uh, you know, the tubing or the wires or whatever. And uh, as of right now, it looks like it kind of looks like it's not routed properly, but that's because the front bumper is off, and the front bumper actually uh, helps hold. Uh, all of this stuff into place but as as it sits there it actually kind of believe it or not is all routed correctly uh, this a lot of these lines here were already uh, cut or altered so we ended up using all the correct lines from the uh, the other CL so these are I think just the cooler lines we have a couple cooler lines that route to the reservoir uh, and then one I'm sorry this, there's a power steering cooler actually this is the upper power steering cooler right up top here and then the uh, lower cooler that sits on the front of the condenser uh, is the hydraulic uh, system uh, cooler which is kind of cool and because this system was deleted I guess whoever deleted it wanted to do such a clean job on the delete uh, he took all these brackets uh, this bracket here uh, we had to hand fabricate uh, and this bracket here was actually um, missing off of the cooler uh, this bracket here was also missing off of the cooler we had to we actually had that on the other cooler and then there's also a lower bracket that we fortunately we had these so we just riveted those back into place uh, but this upper bracket was completely missing uh, and so we had to uh, we had to hand make that which came out pretty good actually uh, this cooler here was like four hundred and sixty dollars from the dealer uh, and it was shown to be discontinued so we had to use what we what we what we had in here because because of the uh, the dealer had it discontinued number one number two uh, there was a bunch of people that were trying to sell uh, the basic CL cooler and they were trying to say that it was a CL55 the CL55 and the CL65 is not the same cooler as the 500 uh, it actually number one on the 500 has uh, 49 rows this one only has 44 so it stands a little shorter. Uh, to, to give you space for this uh, power steering cooler and then it also has different bracketry uh, up top like this here uh, that, that sets it in this position because of the charge air cooler that sits behind it on the CL the 500 doesn't have the charge air cooler so it just it would just actually tuck in right in here or it would actually be one piece so anyways uh, that was kind of fun uh, at this point right now I'm going to show you the frame body work here that's going to have to be done. Uh, as you can see, there's been a, bu a bunch of uh, hammer work pounding out, in and out on this uh, on this panel here. I think just whoever did it, just was uh, their intention was just to get the fender to sit on there. Uh, but it looks pretty damn ugly. A lot of this stuff is 
you know, been uh, worked out with pliers and and uh, just hammered to shit. So what we're gonna do, if you can see, I don't know, it's kind of a shadow there, but there's a tack that's been undone. Anyways, there's there's tack welding all along this this frame rail here. We're gonna go ahead and drill that all out and then come all the way through here, untack all that, uh, and then also uh, there's a skin piece that comes off on the top of this pillar here. Uh, I think we're going to be replacing the outside. I think we can we can save the inside. It's not too bad. So we're going to save that piece, uh, replace the outer skin here, and then uh, pretty much this this whole area. So when we get done with this, it should look a lot better than than this here. I mean, I think the fender and all that is actually almost in place. I mean, we could probably tweak it a little bit and get it to sit properly. Uh, but I just don't like the fact that that's sitting there looking like that. So I'm gonna I'm gonna work on that. Right now, uh, we had to pull the front bumper off uh, in order to put the uh, put the uh, oil coolers on and the condenser here. And then I got this little jack here, just kind of holding up the radiator and the whole assembly in place so it doesn't fall. But anyway, she's coming around. I think we did a couple things in here. Let me let me look in here. Okay, I think in here all we did was uh, we put uh, the uh, rear panels from the other vehicle. They were uh, nice in this car, but the other ones were just, just a tick nicer. So we en ended up using the uh, rear quarter uh, trim panels from the other vehicle. And then the, uh, the padding was all tattered and shredded on the original uh, piece that was in here. So we took that out, uh, replaced the padding, uh, checked all the uh, components and the wiring underneath. There's a bunch of uh, modules underneath that, bracket, that little trim piece there. Uh, and underneath the padding, there's like probably four or five modules under there. Uh, check them out, make sure that they uh, didn't have any shredded wiring, and uh, put it all back together. But anyways, uh, we, right now, right now, what we need to do, I think next is uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop the car and then fire fire it up. We need to fire it up and then pi uh, power on this uh, this hydraulic uh, system uh, just to make sure everything's working properly. Make sure the car. Uh, lifts, you know, good lifts up and uh, operates properly. Uh, and then what we're going to end up doing is probably pulling off that fender on the on the passenger side of this fender. This uh, this also this lower rocker uh, got got hit, got damaged. So we're going to take that off, replace that. Uh, that's easy. Uh, we're going to put this fender. Uh, we're going to take that fender off and then see exactly what we're going to do here. And then. Uh, you know kind of try to piece the front end together. I don't want too many of these pieces sitting around uh, Not you know not being uh, Put back or, or kind of at least in the, in the location where I know uh, I can I can remember where everything goes because believe it or not if you set this car and don't get back to it You know for like a week or two uh, You will actually forget a couple of the things uh, the way they route for instance uh, sometimes the bolt placement some bol bolts may look the same, but they're you know a uh, uh, quarter inch shorter uh, some of the bolts you know uh, require you know different areas need a shorter than a longer bolt and a lot of that stuff gets thrown off if you let the car sit too long uh, without getting it all put back together so I like to kind of put the bolts back in where they go uh, put all the uh, you know all the things that I can uh, assemble I'm probably going to do that and then uh, I'll start tearing down the other side that's why I haven't tore it all down completely to where I need it that's why because I kind of I kind of need it to uh, be assembled and then uh, that way it doesn't take let's say it takes me uh, 10 days to fix that well then there's going to be a few bolts in here that I'd have to sit there and really try to figure them out uh, where they go but since we just pulled everything off fresh off of this car uh, it was all basically this car had never been touched before so since uh, since we pulled it all off from here we just basically went over there and uh, matched it up identical to uh, was setting on here but uh, this is the way this one is here so far we got the front bumper pulled uh, we did a we did have to pull the condenser on this one uh, and then uh, the reason being is because we needed some of that bracketry here's the condenser for the for the regular 500 again this one has 49 rows uh, the one that uh, is needed for the 55 and the 65 are only 44 rows so a lot of the bracketry as you can see like there's the holes that uh, had brackets in there. We had to uh, pull those out and pull them out. Here's another set here that we needed. So, anyways, it was kind of, kind of fun. I had a lot of things going on, other things that I'm working on. So, 
I can't solely work on this. That's another reason where uh, you tend to forget where things uh, go, especially like little bolts and clips. Actually, mainly clips and uh, the different size uh, bolts is usually what the problem is uh, in trying to remember those kinds of things. Uh, but anyways, uh, that's, uh, you know, if I was only working solely on this, uh, I'd get it done much faster. Uh, and then I would actually have, you know, full attention uh, to this and only this. And that would actually help out. But anyways, the, the audio is probably pretty bad out here. It's, it's, it's real windy. We're up here in the desert. It's getting windy. So I'm going to... I'm gonna wrap this one up, but anyways, the uh, fender, the fender liner is not in here yet. Uh, but we've we've we have this all meticulously all clean. Uh, same thing with the rear. We already put the fender liners in the rear, but everything in here got uh, power washed and cleaned up and uh, wiped down. So uh, everything in there is really clean. Uh, we put the fender wells on. We cleaned those before we put them in. So the car is gonna look, you know, absolutely uh, almost brand new. You know, with the exception of some of the wear, and some of the items might show a little bit of wear or scratches or whatever but uh, the car is going to look real clean and, and uh, sexy when we're done with it well, there she is that's the progress for now uh, i'll get you guys uh, another video when i start tearing down on that fender uh, and uh, showing you some of those things but anyway signing out all, all muscle see you guys later